Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on December 2nd, 2022. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. Welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Checking out here the last 48 hours on our sun, 304 angstroms, plasma tornado spinning away on the bottom southwest region, and as well, a pretty sizable, almost M-class solar flare, You'll see in that last image, top left. And we're going to be seeing that come around here. Two very bright, very bright cresting sunspot regions. Amazing images. Watch in the last few there. You're going to see that almost M-class solar flare. No CME detected towards us anyway. That was in an outgoing position. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing plasma filament stretched across the southern hemisphere right now and here's a closer look at that solar flare watch just around there that's right that was an m-class solar flare as well we have a coronal hole large coronal hole in an earth facing position and another one forming behind that looking at multi-spectrum the last 48 hours of events Definitely going to be keeping an eye on those regions. And as well, the plasma filaments across the southern hemisphere. Pretty active incoming regions right now. 171 angstroms here. Blackened regions are the coronal holes. Diminished coronal holes stretching across the southern hemisphere. And elongated developing in front of those bright sunspot regions. Solar X-ray flux is in a heightened C range right now after firing off three C-class and an M-class over the past 24 hours. Geomagnetic activity still at KP4 as we are being bombarded by solar winds. Look at this up and over 660 kilometers per second throughout the day today. And we're sitting at about 614 right now. Re uh, ISWA space prediction spiral showing CME taking off from the back side of our sun. Well, in that outgoing position, just missing a Mercury, and we were expecting a space weather event 7th into the 8th of December. Looking at Schumann resonance for today is a power of 7. Quick look at the telemetry. Quality of 9, power of 4. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours, as it's still looking pretty busy across this map right now. Starting out with the most recent 4.6 here in Haifo, Tonga region. Lots of activity down here. Heads up, stay safe down there in New Zealand. Let's hope Topo does not erupt. Deepest earthquake talk about was yesterday, 4.5, 500 kilometer depth. Interesting earthquakes through Vanuatu as well. Gorontolo, Indonesia, 5.0 there today. 4.5 Obi, Indonesia, as well at 4.6 here off the coast of Japan. Honshu, Japan, 61 kilometer depth, a couple earthquakes in between there and Kamchatka. Earthquakes still rocking Iran, Bandar Lenge, 10 kilometer depth, seeing a couple aftershocks after 5.7 the other day, as well at 4.5 here in Bosnia. That's right, Bosnia reporting a 4.5 earthquake, 16 kilometer depth. Interesting earthquakes here through the Caribbean plate down into our equatorial subduction zone. We could have some more active volcanoes awakening there. Heads up, lots of activity up and through Ecuador as well. San Miguel, Ecuador, many volcanoes through South America that are active. Calima, Chile with a 4.4 today. Boy, oh boy, as well at 5.7, this is the largest the last 24 hours, Bouvet Island, just east of the South Sandwich Islands. Interestingly enough, I was noting that in my latest video. If you haven't seen that, please check it out. Overlooking the United States, largest last 24 hours, 3.8, Ocotillo yesterday, and a 3.9 here, Big Pine, California, 
eight kilometer depth. Other than that, no major swarms to talk about. Across the U.S. plate right now, minor activity up into the Pacific Northwest and quieting down. No major earthquakes to report here in Hawaii anymore as pressure is releasing. Quick glance here at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining the family. Daily events worldwide, keeping humanity aware and prepared. A lot of new followers the last little while, and I appreciate you all watching hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget, if you don't want to miss an update, hit your notification bell and set to all. And that's a look at the last seven days for earthquakes. Interesting earthquakes through Alberta. Still got to wonder what's up there. More to come, folks. I think, big time. Having a look here, Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery from around the world. And as well, noting the most recent volcanoes getting updated as we have 50 erupting, and we just had another one here as we were making this video. Shevelich in Russia has a weight, well, not, was updated as well. Reventador in Ecuador, Swiss in Ajima, Japan, Nevada's de Ruiz, as well, Fuego, Guatemala, Popo in Mexico, Uh, Sabankaya in Peru, Semeru in Indonesia. This is all in the last five hours, folks. San Miguel, El Salvador. Senge in Ecuador, Villarica in Chile. Dokono in Indonesia. So that's about 11 volcanoes getting updated today amongst the 50 that are active and erupting. As I said, very important video I just put out today. If you haven't seen it yet, please check it out and share with your friends and family. And as well, share this vid daily video so that you can show what Daily Events is providing for their humanity here with a collection of data. Space weather, world weather, earthquakes and volcanoes. Quick look here at the latest satellite imagery from around the world. Still looking at many flood alerts through central regions of Africa and as well central regions South America equatorial regions producing a lot of moisture right now now let's get to weather here as we have another wind warning for tonight and into tomorrow for Ontario interesting low pressure system heading through there along the convergence line we're going to see 35 kilometer sustained winds gusting up to 70 or 90 kilometers an hour Lots of snow falling and a lot of moisture falling through parts of Northern California. Low pressure system off the coast. Daily extreme weather developing through Central and Southeastern United States. And scattered flurries and snow throughout most of Canada. As we have a large low setting up over the Hudson Bay as it runs into what they are calling the Greenland Block. And no low pressure systems are making it over Greenland right now due to the polar vortex. Interesting system here developing for the long range forecast. Could see quite a bit of rain through Washington as we have a low pressure system that came out of Hawaii heading right for the BC coastline and Washington. And not only is there going to be heavy rain and heavy snow through the Rockies, but it's going to be uncoupled with sulfur dioxide emissions from Mauna Loa eruption and as well high CO2 content. So stay aware and prepared, folks. Stay young and have fun at the same time while we still can. Much love to everybody and prayers for humanity. That's a quick look over North America for systems. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains, but coastal regions, Buenos Aires, long line of moisture throughout the week. Overlooking the Atlantic, pretty strong, strong system there developing for the United Kingdom in the long range. As well, strong system heading for India, southern India, and a low pressure system heading through the Mediterranean, going to bring some, some stormy weather to parts of Turkey. Overlooking the rest of the world. 
No major systems or cyclones developing, but some heavy rains developing in the long range for southeastern Australia. Thanks everybody for watching. More detailed weather forecast coming soon. Again, stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.